Hi, welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. Today I am right near Yoyogi Park in Tokyo, and I'm going to be trying out a wonderfully new food experience that combines virtual reality art with a course dinner. So I'm actually right here in front of the shop now. This is Tree by Naked. And Naked is actually a company that has produced many virtual reality exhibitions around Tokyo. And the concept is usually moving art and kind of exploring your imagination within these spaces. So it's really cool that they've opened a cafe and restaurant. So I'm gonna give that a try today and I'm gonna wear some goggles and I'm sure it's gonna be so much fun. So let's go inside and check it out. Look at this space. Immediately coming in, it's so relaxing. The concept of a tree is that we're right next to a beautiful park and trees are kind of a place where people gather together, have picnics, people gather around the tree. So here you can gather and enjoy your drinks, your food, and upstairs you can see all the flowers that are growing on the trees. So a beautiful artistic space. Oh wow, this is really cool. It's it's suddenly really dark and moody down here with the lanterns. Oh my gosh. Whoa, look at this. It's, it's like I'm in a magical cave. This is so cool. It's like I'm walking over water. Wow. Oh wow. This is so cool. It's really dark in here. Oh, this is amazing. This table is made of sand. Oh my gosh. You can actually touch the sand. That's so cool. That's so pretty. Water, one of the elements for today. Oh gosh, it is like clear, clear water. Mm. Oh wow, it's a whole other world. This is amazing, it feels like I'm in a storybook. Water, earth, fire, and wind, the elements. Oh. Open the box and begin your first dish. Okay. Sekai o kose suru yongen so. So, first, this is the dish that represents earth. Ja, itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh, whoa. That is really good. There's like a little bit of spice to it. You can really enjoy the flavors of the beans. There's a little bit of crunch of onions. And I think the sauce has a little bit of charcoal in it. It's like a creamy, I think mayonnaise based creamy sauce. That's so beautiful. Wow, look at that. So this is a lobster. So I'm gonna give this a try. It looks like there's some caviar on top. Very, very strong lobster flavor. I love it. And I feel like I have to, uh... oh, the next one. Oh, wow, okay, so this is the water element. So this one is sea urchin in a tart. This looks really good, itadakimasu. Creamy sea urchin. There's like a cream cheese on the inside. Um, I think some Japanese pickles, which give it a good crunch. And the tart, really flaky, really delicious. It comes together incredibly. This is our last element, wind. And it says that it is a soy slider. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Itadakimasu. Is it really a soy slider? Because it tastes like meat. 
it's not like a brioche bun. It's like, it's got um bite to it. And there's a little bit of, I think, um, homemade ketchup inside. This is nice. It's a good little appetizer. I've planted it. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's an earthquake. It's crumbling. Everything's crumbling. Huh? I'm gonna put on a mask? I've just got my mask on. I can see it's a VR mask, so I can see actually shadows of people sitting around the table right now. And they're all wearing masks. <gasps> There's an orb in the middle of the room that's floating in front of me. And I can see my dish in front of me. This is crazy. Wow. <laughs> There's like water bubbles coming out of my dish and going to the ceiling. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh, okay, there's just food appearing. There's carrots, chicken. What on earth? It's sprouting food, it's like Jack and the Beanstalk. There's a vine. This is the whole vine, oh my gosh. And now we're in a forest? What on earth? Whoa. Something is gonna land on my plate. I think they're making a dish for me. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Arigato gozaimasu! It, it came true! <gasps> There's little animals running around. So let's try. I'm first of all, I'm amazed by the cutlery. Look at the fork and the knife. Oh my God, there's animals on my plate. I don't even know how to begin. So it looks like an apple, but it's a monaka, which is a Japanese traditional wafer. Oh my goodness. It's so creamy. It goes really well with the, um, the crunch of the wafer. That's lovely. It looks like there's a little bit of fig on the bottom. Look at the presentation. It really, it's so beautifully designed each dish. It looks like an, a forest. Earthquake. Fire. So we have a foam of nanko plum. Okay, here we go. It's almost crunchy and it tastes nutty. Is that what abalone tastes like? And the sauce has um, a lot of um, sour plum flavor as well. Wow, I like that. It's really, really, really decadent. Each dish is paired with a different tea. Normally, they pair it with alcohol, but this is the non-alcoholic course um, because it is lunchtime. Oh, that is refreshing. That's a really nice green tea. It's flooding, it's filling with water. <gasps> That's so cool. <gasps> There's fish. <gasps> oh! No! This is so cool, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. You can touch the fishies. They're moving. Oh, there's so many fishies. This is so cool. So we have our fish, the seasonal fish poire with consommé de poisson. So it's kind of ochazuke style, which is a Japanese dish where you pour hot tea over rice and usually like little bits of salmon. Oh my gosh, I can't even begin to describe this experience. I just feel like I'm a mermaid now under the sea. Here we go. It's a, it's a very meaty cut of fish. The outside, I think this is um, like a crispy skin, but it, it's almost like they fried the skin. It's very, very crispy. What a delicious dish. Each dish is just art. Mm. Oh my goodness, do you see the light I can throw? Wind. 
ノリタカノリタチ I just, I can't believe how magical all of this feels. Do you see the light peeking in? It's like sunlight peeking in through the clouds after a rainstorm. It's so, the attention to detail is incredible. Here we have a dish of smoked turnip, black truffle, and quail egg. Ooh, oh, look inside. It's an egg. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try this with the black. There's black truffle. It just, everything tastes really smoky. The quail egg is really, really delicate. I love the runny yolk. The truffle adds the perfect accent. This is exquisite. Exquisite. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Amazing. I'm in cherry blossom paradise now. Next, for our final course, we have. A grilled duck with tomato, black mission fig, Inca no mezame potato. <gasps> so we have like a layered potato underneath this wonderful crispy leaf. That was really, really juicy. It's, um, the meat itself is a little bit like tough, it's very meaty. But man, is it flavorful. It's so juicy. And the sauce complements it so good. It's a little bit sweet. Mmm. Really, really good. Layered potatoes. I like a good potato. This is gonna be good. Mmm. That's not what I was expecting. It is so buttery. It's not as crispy as I expected. It's just like layers of like pillowy potatoes. I love it. Now it's time for dessert. Hi. Wow, that's beautiful. All right, so here's our dessert, and it comes with a herbal tea in a beautiful transparent glass. Oh, it's a wonderful herbal tea. It tastes like chamomile. And now it's time to try our final dish of the day, the dessert. I'm so excited. So first he said this is a framboise sorbet, which is raspberry. He also said there's paprika in it, which is a bell pepper. Oh, okay, let's give that a try. Oh my gosh. So first you're expecting a raspberry sorbet. It's not just raspberry. I think it's mixed with bell pepper. To top it off, I think there's chili pepper on it. It's a fluffy sponge cake. It's got a lot of cocoa flavor. Just so much to enjoy. Oh, the fruity, sweet strawberries. Mmm. Crunchy caramel Florentines. I think they're almond Florentines. Oh, stop. Like, I just can't. There's so much to enjoy on this plate. Oh. Let me stop talking and just keep eating. This is amazing. Mm. I have one last question. Oh. Wow. That was an incredible experience. And now I've left that world and I've come back to our own. So if you guys ever have a chance to come visit this area, I wholeheartedly recommend it. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, enjoyed the experience that I had today, please make sure to like and comment. Would you guys like to come to this place as well? Um, let me know in the comments down below and I hope to see you guys in another video very soon. Thanks guys, bye.